sport. Now, uh, time to talk baseball because we've followed the fortunes of baseball in Hertfordshire for over 10 years now. Um, including, of course, um, I didn't know whether you'd remember this, Jeff, but uh, including me beating you in a batting competition. Did you... Did you yeah. remember that? Uh, you, I thought you might bring that one up. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, it was ages. How it was ages ago that was. <laughs> and that's, yeah, I've, I'll ask you a question about anything else that's happened on programs and stuff like that. You won't remember. But I don't you even... do. Re- you do remember beating me at baseball, Jeff? Right. <laughs> but I, can I just say we're going to go? I do. I've I've beaten you at baseball and shooting. In fact, I've beaten you every sport where I don't actually have to move. <laughs> <laughs> Like run or anything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all right. Um, Hearts Baseball Club have a number of teams. We're going to find out all about them again, including the Falcons, who play in the NBL and competed against teams all over the country. And, and they're going to travel a little bit further now uh, because uh, they've got into Europe for the first time, finishing last season as runners-up. Let's up, catch up with the club now, courtesy of Lee Manning, who's here to talk all things um, Hearts Baseball Club, but he's the youth commissioner uh, who's joined by his son, Riley. Hello. Oh, I'll better open your microphones. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? You all right, Riley? Yeah. And Lee, welcome back. Just step forward a little bit. There we go, my friend. Um, Just before we talk a little bit about things like going into Europe, etc., for those people who have never heard of the club, you've been running for quite a long time now, just tell us a little bit about Falcons are the the, the kind of the, the Premier League side, as it were, and then you've got lots of other clubs as well, haven't you, including youth teams? That's right, yeah. So we have the Falcons at the uh, National League level. Um, they play against the other top teams from around the country. We have a new team entering into AAA, which is going to be based out of our North London branch, which is an expansion. Uh, we've got our AA Hawks. Uh, they'll be based out of Hemel Hempstead. We've got our Raptors and then uh, our London uh, Hearts Londoners, which are going to be based out of uh, the North London branch in single A. And then going down into the youth, we start with four-year-olds all the way up to their 18. Um, all the different age groups playing in little league competitions and, and stuff like that. I mean, lots of teams. Lots of teams. You know, it's a real huge club, and it's just year on year, it's grown and grown and grown, isn't it? As, that's right. I as, think, as baseball has grown in this country. That's right. I think the club is currently looking to get up to about 180 playing members this year. Uh, we've got a very strong group of volunteers as well. So yes, yeah, it's, it's getting bigger and bigger every year. And you'll be playing in Europe, did you say, the Falcons? That's right, yeah. So uh, the Falcons come runners-up in the national championships last year. Um, So they're going to be playing over in Bulgaria, um, playing against teams from Lithuania, Sweden, um, and all these different other European countries. So, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. We're really looking forward to it. It's like a Champions League format, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it really is. So, yeah, it's going to be brilliant. That's awesome. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be five, six days of baseball you know, non-stop baseball all the time. So, yeah, it's going to be brilliant. We're how, really looking forward to it. How, how would a club like that afford, I don't know, logistically, I don't know, getting out there and hotels? And, I mean, do, do, do they? Do you have to individually pay for it, the players? or? So, historically, the players have always paid for mm. it. And that, that's whether it's Hearts Baseball or Great Britain Baseball. It's always come down to the players wow. and the parents to pay for it. Um, obviously, we're trying to do a lot of fundraising now. Mm. Um, we're, we're going through fundraising ideas, so hopefully we'll have that set up in the next few weeks and then hopefully we'll bombard everyone asking for, for money and support as best as they can. We've got loads of things to talk about, including the London series and, and, and the youth teams as well, which I certainly want to talk about with Riley. Um, ha, ha, is the support base growing? Are you getting more people support? I mean, obviously you'll get friends and family uh, you know, and people have been associated with the club, but are people coming to watch baseball? Yeah, I think... Um, it, it, every year it's grown. Every year it's grown. Our, our, our Falcons generally get around about fifty people, sort of just turning up with picnic, picnic bar- baskets, and just laying a blanket down and watching. That's the game kind of a non-league game, isn't it? That's mm. like a non-league yeah. football game. It's, um, is, yeah. it's not too bad. Obviously, the kids get a lot more support with their parents and their uncles and aunties and brothers and sisters. So you know, the youth is generally a bigger. Um, but year on year, it, it, baseball in Britain is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Definitely. What about the London series then? This is in June, um, so British uh, b- baseball uh, is is. I mean, just looking to kind of capitalise on on the on the the interest when the the Red Sox play the Yankees and that kind of thing. Yeah, this is fantastic. So they've only ever really done this twice before: once in Sydney and once in Tokyo, which are predominant baseball countries um, and cities. So. They're, they're coming into Europe. They've decided to come into London. They're going to hire the uh, Olympic Stadium, so West Ham can't have any home, uh, you know, home friendly games during the summer and stuff like that. They're going to re, they're going to move all the stands and all the seats to make it into a baseball stadium. 
and then um, yeah it's going to take a good, good couple of weeks to set it all up I bet um, and we're really really looking forward to it this is going to be hopefully huge for, for British baseball and, and European baseball as well so everyone's clamouring for that aren't they in this uh, country that wants massive. to wants to push baseball I mean the tickets I believe the tickets sold out within oh. a few hours it was yeah, I was going to say what for the whole stadium yeah for the whole stadium for oh, both days me, as well right. it's a two day event so yeah Yankees and Red Sox you don't really get much bigger um, he's coming back next year as well um, they haven't released the teams yet, but obviously we're just focusing on this year. It's going to be absolutely huge. So, yeah, we we really want to jump on the back of it and help try and promote baseball in general and obviously Hearts as a club. And just tell us about the youth side of it, because is it a bit like, you know, I don't know, rugby, hockey, football, where you just have under under 9s, under 10s, under 11s, under 12s, or is it bigger gaps? Yeah, so we have slightly bigger gaps. Um, currently we have uh, under 8s, which is our T-ball programme, under 11s, uh, the next programme up, mm. then under 13s, under 15s and under 18s. Um, it's very in line with what the Americans do. Um, so the under 13s, if they win the British Championship, they'll go on into Europe if they oh, win wow. that. Then they get an all expenses paid trip to um, Williams Sport in Pennsylvania, where they play in front of thirty five thousand people in a stadium designed f- for kids to play in it. So it's not an adult one being converted. This is a all year round stadium that's been built for it. So it's, you know, the youth baseball is absolutely getting really big in this country. So I think yeah. we should hear it from the horse's mouth. Mm, though, yeah. Riley's here, so this is your son Riley. Just step step forward a little bit, Riley. Um, t- tell tell us about how long have you been playing baseball? Four to five years. Four to five years. Oh, so you were really small when you start when you first picked up a bat. Yeah. And was it when you first picked up a bat when you were ever so small? Because you're not small now. You're a big lad. Um, was it like a little bat compared to all the big ones? Mm, it wasn't that little, was it, Dad? Not too little, no. No, but you start off smaller and then you get bigger yeah. and bigger as you get stronger. And do you have a? Are you are you a batter or are you a pitcher or do a you have? You're a pitcher. Yeah. Oh, so why why did you choose that rather than batting? Were you just good at throwing? Yeah. Simple as that, isn't it? Yeah. So everyone, better. everyone has to hit. So the pitchers have to hit as well. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So he, he's a lefty. Uh, he throws lefty, hits lefty. He's a proper lefty. Is that is that is that good? That's in a good thing in baseball. baseball yeah, right, yeah okay. he's a really good thing in baseball. So yeah, he's doing really well. Lee, what you're hoping is that he does well in this cup competition that gets you out to America, isn't it? <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Uh, well, we know your game. Yeah. There was a little glint in Lee's <laughs> yeah. eye there, wasn't there? Yeah. And, uh, and are you coaching? Do you- uh, I try to coach as much as I can. I try to be a floating coach rather than a, a team manager. Yeah. We've got sort of semi-pro coaches now uh, coaching the kids. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of help out as and where needed. Um, but, yeah, I'm still very active coaching as well. Right, is it fun or is it hard work? It is fun, hard, you know, but kind of both. Both. Yeah. Well, that's okay, isn't it? And when have, have you got any? Have you got any matches? Uh, I'm not sure. So we're right in. It's, we've it's, just started pre-season, right, actually, yes, a few weeks ago. So, yeah. so we're still doing indoor training. So the games don't start until probably mid-April, end of April. Are you still wanting people to, you know, kids to come along and get involved? Definitely, you, definitely. I mean, we've got so many coaches, and we've got this big big area you know where we play and we can just expand put new diamonds up so we just want as many kids as possible how do they do that so, I mean I know you've got a really good website haven't you it's, Hartford, it's the Hartfordshire Baseball Club isn't yeah, it yeah so it's heartsbaseball.com right is the is the uh, URL name yeah um, and yeah like you say it's fantastic if they go onto that they can they can um, uh, register their interest with that if they're outside of our area because obviously I know you guys expand over the three counties so if they're sort of Essex Never. Bay <laughs> <laughs> yes, if no, they're sort of me. Essex Bay they can just log on to BritishBaseballFederation.com and there's a club finder so you know if there's any other the nearest one to them yeah, in their area absolutely because you might be right on the edge of Hertfordshire but you might be nearest to somewhere That's in it, Essex yeah. or whatever so yeah, that was, one um, thing we've um, we've managed to set up this year which is going to be really great for the kids is um, we're going to be playing on a lot of the American Air Force bases this year really? they've generally been locked away from us they kind of do their own thing but now the kids are going to go up there and as a as a kid myself I remember going up there as a 13 year old and it was brilliant you know you drive on the right hand side you know yeah, cool. the guys have got guns the police have got guns and you know you pay with pounds and you get dollar change and you know it's absolutely brilliant so for the kids that can't make it to America it's, it's the next best thing is going up to one of those Air Force bases Listen we've run out of time it's, it's quarter to seven already and um, we haven't even talked about the expansion of the, the two new teams so North West London you're, you're looking to spread out into the North West London area as well, that's right yeah yeah just uh, we've got so many players that come there's, there's quite a few clubs in London but in North London there's nothing really at the moment so we've expanded down to there well, why not and yeah it's, it's just helping us grow absolutely helping us grow massively Listen thank you so much for coming in I think anyone that is 
I mean, I've got I've been along and I've watched them train. I've done a little bit myself, and we had a little competition mm. there as well. It was such fun. It's such fun, and you know, you don't need to know the rules straight away. You don't. You just need to come along. It, the most welcoming club, one of the most welcoming clubs I've ever been to. So get yourself there. See if you can do it. You you might be an absolute natural. In which case, people like Lee will handcuff you to the to the the bus to make sure you don't go anywhere <laughs> right. you're on the team um, all the way from the Falcons all the way down check them out their social media presence is good as well uh, it's the half chip what we'll club. do is um, we'll get the article where you guys hit against each other we'll get that back up on our website I think that tonight. would be a really I'll good I'll speak to Robin we'll get that I out there think tonight that would be Lee a... why would you say that but I what think... I want to do guys what I want to do is I want to get you two guys down yep. to face our juniors so I'm going to choose two kids from each age group yeah, and yeah. then you guys are going to have a hitting in the pitching competition yeah, but against them. Can you us. just say to them, there's none of this, there's none of this, oh, they're young, so we're going to go easy on them. We will destroy them. Good yeah, luck. Yeah, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> My dad already nominated me. Oh, oh, it's fighting talk already. Listen, pal, you're in for it. I tell you. Um, I think that's a fantastic yeah, idea. Let's get we'd, that, I would absolutely love to do yep, that. Sounds good. good. Uh, Riley, thank you very much. Yeah. I'll see you soon, uh, Riley Lee. Great to see you again, mate. Yeah, and thanks always. ever so much for coming in. Travel for beds, hearts and bugs. BBC Three Counties Radio.